Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to use GitHub's GIST feature to interact with code in a simple way on the GitHub platform. So a GIST allows you to store code snippets without having to create a fully fledged repository on GitHub. It's useful for quickly sharing pieces of code with others or demonstrating techniques and solutions that don't really need a conventional repo. However, a GIST does function like a repository in a lot of ways. For example, you can fork them, clone them, and you can view workflow on a single GIST just as you would on a repository but with somewhat less work involved. So to create a GIST, head over to gist.github.com and you don't necessarily need to be signed in to GitHub for this, but uh, doing so will allow you to edit and delete GISTs. Uh, the only way to permanently delete an anonymous GIST, which is created if you're not signed in, is to directly contact GitHub support which can be a hassle, so I do advise signing into your account if you already have one, um, or even making one if you don't have one yet. Uh, you can have multiple files, really as many as you want. Now, if you have a ton of files, you're probably just better off creating a normal repository, but we can create a gist right here. Uh, I'll create two files. We can have our first test file. We can just say, this is my first test. And then we have our second file, so just add a file, test2. And then we can say this is a second test. So you can create a secret gist or a public one. Secret just means private. And know that the public ones can be searched for and found by anyone on the discover page. So we're going to create a public one. And I can show you the discover page in a second. So if you go to the top here and click on all gists, that takes you to the discover tab. And really you can see anyone's gists in order of recent uh, recently created or you can use the search function to search for a gist and so really um, it's public to anybody even if it was created a while ago see like this one created four months ago I can search for it and I can see it just like any kind of public repo so just be aware so once the gist is created like I said there are a good number of functions available um, first of all you can share the gist with others so that they can have access to all these functions as well um, one of the main ones, of course, is leaving a comment. So you can say, this is a good gist. And then hit this button, and the comment's up there. Um, if you are the creator of the gist, you can edit directly. So if I were just to go in and make some edits, I can say, this is like this, and put a number on here. And then update. And you can see your uh, commit history, essentially, right here. So you can see first is changed, and of course second. So then, really, you can keep track of your version history and roll back as needed. Um, and also, if you go back here, you can clone a uh, gist, just like a repo, and you can download it. And if you went to somebody else's, you could fork theirs up here. So that's really all I have to say about gist. Um, there's not much to talk about, really. It's just an extension off of the standard GitHub and it's good for sharing code uh, if you have some kind of solution or function that you just want to share quickly with somebody and have it backed up and have some version control available through GitHub. So it's really just a nice feature that they happen to add and a lot of people don't know about it so I thought maybe I'd show you guys. So if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and uh, thank you for watching.